If you've seen my video that I uploaded recently about growing tomatoes and the dismal effort that I made this year and failed completely, you'll recognise these bags and you'll know what this stuff is that the bags are filled with. It's an homemade compost, it's soil based and it has coir and it has fresh wood chips added and it's a blunder and why is it a blunder? because it's possibly the most acidic soil mix on YouTube I can't imagine anything growing in this so why did I try to grow tomatoes in it? because I hadn't tested it before I planted the tomatoes I only found this out after all the tomatoes died so what are we doing today? well a lot of you have suggested that perhaps I should try and modify this I was minded actually to get rid of it all I was so mad but a number of you have said well no why don't you try and modify it why don't you try and reduce the acidity by adding lime well I've got some lime, I already had it and I've got my soil meter for testing for acidity yep, we should do it shouldn't we? we should do it and bearing in mind that I won't be using this now if I do use it again for at least five or six months I've that length of time to try and amend the acidity of this soil of this mix so before we start let me tell you about this soil meter this zeros at seven seven is a neutral pH it's neither acidic nor alkaline seven right bang in the middle so when we pop it in here it starts at seven and if it goes higher than seven it's alkaline and if it goes lower than seven it's acid and ideally for tomatoes we're probably looking at 6 to 7 pH now most of these bags went off scale and this only measures down to 3.5 and that's extremely acidic extremely acidic I don't think anything would grow in that <laughs> and I'm lower than that so right let's check the acidity on these bags before we go any further let me just switch this on so let's try this first bag six five four point five four sitting at four now it's gone to low low is less than th oh, 3.5 that's the lowest it measures won't measure any lower than that so that bag is extremely acidic it's gone to 4 I mean the fact that it's hunting shows you that it's working that it is measuring something so should we say that bag's got an acidity of 4 yeah let's do the next one in the probe wow wow did you catch that did you catch that right off scale so that's lower than 3.5 acidity let's move to the back that's lower than 3.5 acidity last one straight off scale that's lower 
than 3.5 acidity. Right, let's go indoors, let's take this lime indoors and we'll make up a lime wash and then we'll dose these four bags. Come on. Let's make some lime wash. This is my lime. It's no sweet jar. It's in there, black bullets. But it's lime now. And it's important that if you use anything that it wasn't intended for, in terms of containers, mark it up clearly. So that's my lime. Put that to one side. And we're going to make the lime wash up in this milk bottle. And again, mark it up. The last thing you want is someone trying to drink this lime wash. Okay, so I'll put that out of the way for the time being and we'll get some lime out of this sweet jar. Just a small container. Okay, that's our lime. We can move this to one side now. Screw the top on it so that we don't have any accidents, or at least if we do, we don't get lime everywhere. Now, this could be the tricky bit getting the lime into this milk bottle. But as you can see, I've made a funnel, homemade funnel. Look at that, didn't spill a drop. In fact, I'm so pleased with this, I'm going to put some more lime in there. Yeah, I am. I'm so pleased with the way that went, I'm going to put some more lime in there. I have visions of this lime being all over this uh, sink, but it isn't. So we'll, we'll pop some more in there. There we go. Okay. Hey, <laughs> couldn't have gone any better, could it? So all we're going to do now is put some water in here and give this a good shake. And that'll be our lime wash. Yes, it will. Now, I'm going to transfer this to a watering can uh, before I put it on the uh, on the mix. Um, but I thought if I make it up in here first, then take it outside, transfer it to a small watering can, that would be the best way of going about this. Yep, that's our lime wash. Okay, back to the greenhouse. While I transfer this lime wash into this watering can, you watch some of the footage I shot some time ago when I first discovered we had an issue with my tomato plants. Check that out, then come back to me. When you do, we'll add the lime wash to the mix. Okay, see you in two ticks.
long is this going to take for this mix to become less acidic? I've no idea. How much lime wash are you going to add? I've no idea. How often are you going to do this? I've no idea. I just don't know. I've never done it before. I don't know how long this will take. Um, I don't even know if it'll work. But because lots of subscribers and viewers have suggested it, and because I had some lime, yeah, we're giving it a go. We're giving it a go. So I think at the outset I'll probably do this maybe once or twice a week. Um, for a number of weeks. I don't know how many, but I'll keep checking it regularly and we'll see if we can move that acidity a bit closer to the 6 stroke 7 that I'm trying to achieve rather than the off scale less than 3.5 that it is today. That's it. First um, First dose of lime wash administered. Let's see how that goes. Well, it's a really wet, windy day here at Home Grown Veg. I've just popped in the greenhouse uh, to check my onions because I, I brought them in uh, yesterday. It was a lovely sunny day yesterday. It was summer. Today it's winter. Unbelievable. Um, and it's only two or three days since I put these bags of acidic soil mix on this bench and give them a, a dose of lime wash and I think I've given them one more dose since yeah I have so I've had two doses of lime wash and I'm fairly sure it's less than a week since I've done this and I'm not uh, confident that anything will have uh, changed but we, because I'm in here I'm going to stick the probe in let's stick the probe in and see what we've got remember this bag I think it was what was it was it four? It had a pH of four. Well, I'm liking the look of that. It's definitely going in the right direction. Isn't it? It's definitely going in the right direction. Let's try this next one. This one might be a bit tougher, wasn't this bag was I think was under 3.5 oh. Well that one's definitely going in the right direction. So it looks as though this lime wash is working. Right, let's let's go in back. This one was off scale, this one was under 3.5. That's moving towards that neutral pH, isn't it? Is that 4.5? Another one going in the right direction. Oh, we like the look of this. This uh, this seems to be working. Right, last bag. And again, this one was off scale. It was under 3.5 yeah that one's still off scale so we've moved three out of four. Oh, hold on no it's hunting no no it isn't off scale I was a bit uh, I was a bit premature that's now got a pH of four now I was happy that three had moved and one hadn't but they've all moved they've all moved towards that neutral seven and I'm trying to move them to between 6 and 7. 
So they're all heading in the right direction. Okay, so it's, it's probably a, a good time now to wind this video. Uh, they're all moving in the right direction. We will come back to it later. We'll definitely have another look at this and see if I can get this soil mix to where I want it to be in terms of pH. And that's between 6 and 7. Switch this on. And that's between 6 and 7. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is homegrown veg, signing out.